Hi guys, today I'm here to talk to you about reaction time, which is a skill related component of fitness. I've got my two helpers here, I've got Seb and I've got Jessica. Um, now, reaction time is the time taken for a, a performer to respond to a stimulus. Now that stimulus might be like a gun or a command, um, a ball, someone calling your name, it could be anything. So there's loads of fun ways that we can practice improving our reaction time whilst we are here at home, whether you're in the garden, in your house, in your bedroom, wherever. Be creative and think about how you can improve your reaction. As you can see down here, we have been creative by getting some socks. The socks are different colours and it's going to be the basis for our first game. So, are you two going to go and get ready and stand in the ready position? Now, this is an example of simple reaction time. I'm going to give one command and that's a colour. Okay, you two? And all I need you to do is touch the colour with your hands and then back to normal. Yeah, just like that. Are you ready? As fast as you can. Okay, right, into ready positions. Hands ready? Look at the look at the floor. Blue. Oh. Good. One nil to Jess. Ready? Stand up, Seb. Green. Oh. Good. Ready? Black. Ready? Blue. Ready? Pink. Excellent. Okay, so now we can change this to tapping it with your feet. Now, reaction time is very much dependent upon limb length. Obviously, the nervous system doesn't have to travel as far with the information, which is our arms, but when it's our legs as well, it has to travel a little bit of a longer distance. So your reaction time might be a little bit slower now. So this time you're touching with your feet. Okay, ready? Steady. Get your hands ready, Seb. So you're balanced. Black. Good. Ready? Pink. Excellent. Ready? Blue. Good. Ready, ready, ready. Green. Ready, black. Excellent. Give yourselves a high five, you two. Boom. Okay. I hit your arm. Okay, game number two. This involves just one ball. It can be any type of ball you want, but ideally something that you could pick up. You can even use an orange and an apple, anything at all. Okay. Now, this one, in theory, Okay, we should be saying that Seb should win it because effectively, I hate to say it, but uh, men do have faster reaction times than girls. However, Jess has some experience and when you're experienced with doing reaction style games, which she's had from doing all her PE in school, then that actually makes you have faster reaction times. So we're on an even level here. Let's see who wins. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So this time I'm going to shout out either head, shoulders, knees or toes. So you have to touch ball. those different bits and then when I say ball, what do you think you have to do, Seb? Get a ball. Okay, right, you ready? I'm the first one to let ball win. Okay, oh, on oh, your marks, oh. get set. Heads, shoulders, toes, knees, heads, shoulders, ball. Okay, put it back down. Just that, that didn't count. <laughs> okay, ready? Knees, toes. Shoulders, heads, knees, toes, ball. Oh, I think that one was steps. Okay, ready? Back down. One more go. I'm going to go a lot faster this time. Oh gosh, I don't like fast. Oh, you don't like fast? Okay, well, I'm going to go really fast. Makes you feel sick. Yeah. Okay, ready? Knees, toes, heads, shoulders, knees, heads, shoulders. <laughs> one more go. Ready? Heads, knees, tongue. I added something else in. Heads, shoulders, tummy, oh, bum bum, <laughs> knees, boom. Oh, very good. Okay, so this next game is really good for more fundamental movement skills about having really quick feet. So we're going to be really, really light on our toes, okay, in a good ready position. This is really good for like any kind of sports, especially racket sports, where you're in that split step position, you've got to move off suddenly into different angles. Okay, so with this one, um, Ben, my husband, he's gonna shout out the command, either right, left, might even like double it up sometimes, and we're gonna see who has got better reactions. Shake my hand. Ready? Okay, so fast feet, Seb, Jess? Okay, ready? Right. Right. Right, 
Left. Left. Right. Left. 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 Right. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Perfect. Okay. So as you can see from the last game, we were adding in more commands of left, right and so on. This game we're also going to add that in with the hoop and with the ball. So this time when Ben says left, we turn left, turn right. If he says hoop, we have to go and put our foot in the hoop or we have to go and touch the ball. Now this is an example of what's called choice reaction time, which is when the number of stimuli increases. Now what do you think would happen to your reaction time, Jess, if you think um, you have to um, make a choice about how to respond. Will your reaction time get quicker or slower? Quick. You think it will get quicker? Yeah. Mm. Let's research, see. research actually says, and it's something called Hick's Law, that the more you have to think about, the slower you will react. It's like being at a cocktail party when you've got lots of people talking to you and you're trying to tune into different conversations at the same time. They do refer to it as the cocktail party theory. So, here we go. <laughs> Ask my neighbour in the background, imagining she's drinking a cocktail now. Right, okay, Jess, are you ready? Shake my hands. Here we go, let's do this. Ready, quick feet. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, <laughs> left. Ball. Right. 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 Left. Left. Hoop. Well right, so this is another game, very similar to, to the last setup. Um, this time you could play it on your own if you've got somebody uh, that can uh, shout commands to you from their sofa or something like that. You can, you can follow the, the colour um, commands that way or if you've got a willing volunteer like Jessica here we can have a little competition um, and someone could be the lead and the follow some of you may call this cat and mouse so Jessica you're going to be the cat I oh, know you're going to be the mouse and I'm going to be the cat so you're going to choose a colour starting on the ready position then when you hit that colour you're going to come back to the middle and my job is simply to follow follow you okay so so daddy is going to copy what I do so if I went to the pink and then back he has to go to the pink and back is it hands or feet or hands. either hands okay okay let me get into my ready position Mama, I have okay Take up. Oh, okay drink some water darling on your marks get yeah. set go <laughs> <laughs> Okay, stop there. Jess, you have to copy Daddy now. Mummy. So you could, if you wanted, add some fakes into this so you'd have someone trying to follow you like this, Jessica. Okay. Go. Okay. Ready? Ready, go. So this is an example of what's known as the psychological refractory period or just to you and me selling a dummy like we see in rugby look like you're going to pass one way but you actually go the other way so sometimes what ben's doing is he's making jess move in one direction and then she has to quickly respond to that before she can then move to the next the psychological refractory period okay nice one you two but then we're gonna make it harder for him. So if I touch pink, he would have to touch blue, so it's the diagonal opposites. Okay, let's try that then, Ben. Very good. Okay, shake hands, you two. So we finished the main activity and had a cool down with lots of stretches. Now we're going to play a carb reaction game. Okay, 
Okay, so this, all you need is a set of cards. Um, now, if you don't have two sets, you can actually use a stopwatch and time yourself doing it and take it in turns to have your go. Um, we're, all we're gonna do very simply is not look at our cards, but when we turn them over, we're gonna put them into their coloured piles and we're gonna see who, who can do that quickly. Jess, we've spoken about simple reaction time and choice reaction time. Which one do you think this one is? Choice. Why? Um, Good guess, it's correct, but why? Because um, we're choosing which pile it will go to. Yeah, so we've got two different stimuli here, with stimuli being the colours, red or black. Okay, so obviously I know those, so I'm just going to shuffle those back up. Now, again, I ne I've never really done this, you've never really done this. They're all matter of so but you've got age on your side. After about the age of about 21, reaction time is reduced. So you being seven, me being what I am, would say that you should be faster at this than me. Okay, put your cards on the table, on your marks, get set, go. Faster, faster, faster. Mommy, mommy, but they are. Does it have to be the right way? Yeah. No, just as colours. I'm trying to put them the right way. <laughs> Look at how I'm doing with my technique. I'm using two hands. Now I'm but a very. Got instructions. That doesn't matter. Fair. Yeah, that's not fair. But I, I'll get instructions too. Now I'm a very competitive mum, so I'm not just going to let her win. Some of you might be thinking, "Hang on, she's not being very fair here to her daughter." But if you know me, you know I do not take kindly to losing. But also, you could uh, time yourself and then try and beat your time next time. Absolutely, this can be done totally on your own. <laughs> I'm almost there, Jess. Don't be a sore loser. Winner! Shake hands. You need to finish. No, 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 shake hands. Yes, we need to Jessica! Finish. <laughs> Thank you. So this time we're not going to be thinking about colours, we're going to think about what shape it is. So if you opened your card and it was diamonds, you'll have to put it in the diamonds pile. Okay. So I've given Jess um, some, a few less cards than I have, um, just because of her age. So are you ready, Jess? On your marks. Oh, hang on, before I start this, this is exactly what I was saying about in terms of Hicks law. So the more choices you have, the slower your reaction time. Now, if I was to time myself from doing the last game to this game, this would certainly be a lot slower. On your marks, get set, go, Jess. Well, you can see already, I'm a lot, thanks, Seb, I'm already a lot slower because I've got four different things to think about, whereas previously, I only had the two colours to think about. Do you want me to win, babe? Yes, uh, I used to have such ninja reaction times as a squash player in my former days. Damn the shoulder injury. You needed to have very good reaction times. I played hockey. Go on, Jess, keep going. Quick, Jess. No, I don't, babe. Go on, Jess. No, no, don't. Come on, Jess. Come on, Mummy. Come on, Mummy. Come on, Mummy. What's that? That's Mummy. Oh, I know. Get on, Mummy. Get on. Oh. Mummy, get on, Mummy. Get on, Mummy. Get on, Mummy. Get on, Done. Oh. Yay, shake hands. Well done. Thank you guys for watching our homemade video on reaction time. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it is fun and it would be great if you had a go yourself at home. Or what would you like to say? And let us know what they are. Oh, yeah, if you create your own games, let us know what they are. Right, what do you say, Seb? Thank you. And what do you say, Jess? Thank you. And bye. 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 <laughs>